We are on a lonely road through desert country, somewhere in the west. I still don't believe they send the gas without an escort. Every time. But the army has hundreds of guys with nothing to do. You would think they could send a guard detachment with a truck full of nerve gas. Ours is not to reason why, brother. Is it a special truck? Just an ordinary green flatbed with a big white star painted on the side and a lone driver behind the wheel. But that nerve gas is lethal. If something went haywire, thousands of people could be killed. Millions of people could be killed, Booth. Millions. You know, Harry, the Army's going to regret not having any security today. Booth, look, the truck coming. Is that him? It's a long flatbed piled high with silver tanks. Yeah, that's him. Get out to the road and flag him down. You sure this is gonna work? Of course, it can't miss. What's the trouble, pal? We've had a bad accident. Anybody hurt? My brother is pinned out of the car in the ditch. Let me give you a hand. Right over here. Where's the car? Hey, what's this? What are you... No, please. Move it, Booth. Later that day, Leonard Driscoll, director of Intersect, and Special Agent Sam Casey drive down the same road. What are we doing in this godforsaken country? It's a government reservation. An army transport truck was hijacked here yesterday. Well, what's that got to do with us? It was on a run to this disposal range with a load of Z-5 nerve gas. Z-5? <whistles> That's potent. Probably the most powerful weapon in our chemical warfare arsenal. It has the potential to destroy the entire population of North America. How did it happen? We're not sure. The highway patrol found the driver's body early this morning. A special communication was received in Washington from the hijackers about three hours ago. What are their demands? They want five million dollars. That's a lot of money. Not much when you think of the number of lives at stake. They want the money by tonight, Sam. Got to be done? Washington is taking care of all those arrangements. What if the money isn't received on time? They threatened to release the gas in a major U.S. city. Leonard, you're telling me this for a reason. The hijackers left specific instructions as to how they want the money delivered. They want it dropped in a wide open space where they can have a full view of the terrain. Tonight, when the truck drops off the ransom, I want you to go with it. Me? You have the power to avoid detection, but only for 15 minutes. We're certain they'll pick up the money immediately after it's delivered, probably by helicopter. Sam, I know I'm asking you to risk your life. We really don't have any choice. Later that night. I wish those guys would come and get their money. It's cold out here. That must be them. I better disappear. Careful. It may be booby trapped. I don't think they would take the chance. Look at all this loot. I never knew five million dollars took up so much space. Harry, we did it. All this beautiful money. <laughs> Load up the chopper. I'm glad there's plenty of room in the cargo bay. Stop your jabbering and move it. Well, that's the load. Then let's take off. Back at Intersect headquarters, Dr. Ebby Lawrence is monitoring Casey's activities. Sam has been invisible for six minutes. Anything on the radar screen? No, they must be flying low, under radar range. That's a mountainous area. The pilot can't fly below radar contact for long. Unless they aren't going very far from the drop zone. That's a possibility, Abby. It's good for Sam. He won't have to stay invisible very long. How much time elapsed on his invisibility? Eight minutes. Seven minutes left. Hang in there, Sam. I don't believe how easy that was. Now we have to make arrangements to return the nerve gas. Let's get back to the cave. Not so fast, Booth. I want to get rid of that stuff. It makes me nervous. It's safe. As long as it stays in the tanks, we have nothing to worry about. But the radio says that seepage can occur through the outlet valve. That's why they were being transported to the disposal range. Booth, this is only the beginning. Five million dollars is small change. We can get more, lots more. No, Harry, you promised. Only five million. What could we possibly do with more money? Uh, this is Sam Casey, code Gemini, calling Intersect P-97. Repeat, P-97. Come in. P-97, this is Intersect P-97. Go ahead, Sam. Over. Leonard, I'm visible now. I'm in the hijacker's helicopter. They're inside a cave on the disposal range. Did you discover where the gas is hidden? The gas is on the truck. They have it stashed in the back of the cave. Can you give me an exact location? There's a map here in the chopper. Hold it a second. Leonard? 
Go ahead, Sam. The coordinates are grid plan A2, 143.8. A2, 143.8. Hold on, Sam. I'm bringing the troops. Someone is coming. I'm signing off. Out. Freeze, mister. Booth, come over here. We got company. Who is it? I don't know. I found him nosing around a chopper. Who are you? Sam Casey. I was camping over on the ridge. What are you doing here? I went out looking for firewood and I got lost. Uh, can you tell me the way out of here? It won't work, Casey. This is restricted government property. Nobody camps on this land. I told you I was lost. It won't wash, friend. Maybe he's telling the truth, Harry. We can't take the chance. Put your hands behind your head. Okay, let's go. Into the cave. What are you gonna do, Harry? Just what has to be done. Harry, we can't kill him. That driver was enough. Shut up, you fool. This isn't a confessional. The police! This guy is a cop! I'll fix you. Get out there and stop your friends, or else I'll empty my gun into one of those tanks. You'll kill yourself. I'm not gonna give up five million bucks. Harry, it's over. Please, give up. I told you to shut up. Face it, Harry, we're beat. Not yet. We've lost. He's right, Harry. Give me your gun. Keep out of this, cop. Harry, I'm gonna go out there and surrender. No, you won't. We're a team. Don't try and stop me. I have the right. You crazy fool, we can get out. I'm leaving, Harry. Take your hands off me. Harry, I warn you. Harry, Harry how could you? How could you shoot your own brother? You asked for it. Stand back. I'm going to blow those tanks. You, Casey, stay put. Where are you? What happened? I'm behind you, Harry. The gun won't help. You can't see me. I'm going to release that gas. No, you won't. <laughs> Hands up. Everybody freeze. Sam, where are you? Right here and in one piece. But you'd better call an ambulance for Booth. Were any of the gas containers damaged? If they were, we wouldn't be here. You're right again, as usual. As usual. Thank you.